Hello friends, happy Thursday. Hope you are all doing so well. Um, we've been blessed with amazing weather, so we've just been soaking that all in as best as possible. Um, but today I wanted to come in to touch base with you about expanding and connecting. Expanding and connecting is one of the most critical parts of our business because it is literally about being social on social media. It is really crucial. This is one that I'll just be quite honest with you. It overwhelmed me in the beginning. It was very, um, very foreign to me. Um, I didn't know where to begin. And even after I heard some videos, um, I was still really intimidated by it. But honestly, it is one of the most simple parts of our job. Um, it's my favorite part of the job now that I look at it and I'm looking at it with such different lenses. And I wanna share with you that it is all about being social on social media. Like, why are we all on social media? We want to connect with other people. We want to share things with other people. We want to talk to other people. That is what social media is about. It's all about sharing. And this is one part of your, of your um, tracker that you need to do every day. Like, this is one part you cannot skip. You need to spend some time with this every day. And the way you want to think about it is um, if you can't sit down and, and connect for a long period of time, which we're going to talk a little bit about this, um, how to do it, the how to's, but I just want to kind of explain to you a little bit about the overview and the why. If you don't have time for long pockets of time, then you can break it up in small pockets. And for me, I prefer to break it up in small pockets. It's a lot for me to sit and do this with, but it's one of my most favorite things to do because you can fit this in anywhere. You can connect and you can expand your network anywhere, anytime, no matter where you're at because all you need is your phone. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you my phone because I'm recording this on my phone, but that is all you need. You just need your phone or if you're working at your laptop, you can use your laptop for Facebook. So let's talk a little bit about this. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about how to expand and connect. And then at the end, I'm gonna share with you some of the ways I expand and connect, okay? All right, so let's talk about first is expanding. You want to expand your network. You basically, what you're doing is you're finding new friends out there, new people that you wanna connect with, that you feel um, fit your, who, who you are. And so in order to do that, I want you to take a piece of paper out and I want you to think about all the different things that talk about you, okay? What are the things that you are into? What are the hobbies you like? What are the stores you shop at? What are the things you can't live without? What are the things, you know, are you um, kind of a disorganized hot mess? Are you an organized freak? Maybe you um, really like a super clean house. Maybe you love to shop at West Elm. Maybe you are a Target fan. Maybe you love Walmart and their amazing deals that are out there. Maybe you love Amazon. Maybe you are an online shopper only. I'm going with a lot of shopping because, hello, hashtag, I have issues. Um, maybe there's a certain shoe that you can't, that you only buy. Um, Maybe there's a brand of clothing that you shop at all the time. Um, hair products, um, baby, baby clothes, baby products, um, hobbies. What do you like to do? Um, are you a certain TV show fan? Um, all those types of things. For me, I also am a, um, I'm a, um, sorry, my son came in. I'll be back. I'll, okay, give me just a second. Um, are you a, um, now I gotta get my train of thought back together. So sorry about that. Um, oh, I'm a sarcastic mom. That is how I am. Um, we, I have teenagers. I have a teenager. I have a tween. Um, my daughter's in dance. She's in competitive dance, not just dance classes, competitive dance. That takes me in a whole nother level. Um, my son plays football. He plays baseball. He plays travel ball. Um, all of these different things represent different things that could be who I am. And you wanna think about what are different words, different groups, different things that identify you as who you are, okay? And let me give you a little bit of um, a snapshot. This helped me tremendously, and I wanna share this with you. 
I want you to think about you are going to a fair. You're going to a fair and you're going to go in and you're going to, there's so many booths at this fair and all the booths have different pieces or different things that they're going to talk about, right? So I'm going to go into this fair and I cannot wait to talk to different people. What kind of booths are you going to go up to? Are you going to go up to the, to the boot, uh, to the booth that sells cowboy hats and cowboy boots and big belts? That's not me. That's not where I'm going to go. I can go and I can talk to them, but I don't really know much about them. I don't know how to, con how to relate to them. Um, I'm not into that. I don't like country music. That's not my jam. Um, but take me to maybe um, uh, the moms who are trying to organize and they're selling um, organizational tips and, and containers and stuff like that. I'm all there. Side note, I'm like a total Pinterest mom that has all these great ideas, but doesn't implement them. Talking about that. I talk about that kind of stuff. Um, those are the people I can relate to. Those are the people I'm going to talk to. I'm um, 43 years old. I'm a mom and I am trying to figure out how to get back to not being rushed out the door because my kids are little and trying to remember like, how do I learn how to do my hair and how do I do my makeup in today's trends and stuff? Those are the people I'm going to talk to. I love makeup. I love face products. Um, I'm kind of a product junkie. I'm going to go to that booth and talk to them. Um, I walk a little bit further and I see a booth with moms with baby products and the newest baby trends and these new, um, I don't know, something that can help baby babies eat better. I get you. I know you. I can add a little bit to you, but that's not where I'm at in my life. That's how you want to look at social media. You want to connect with the people that connect with you. So you're looking at hashtags. You're looking at bloggers. You're looking at favorite brands. Like if you're a mom and maybe you are a big fan of um, a certain brand of um, all natural cotton, organic burp cloths and stuff like that. I'm only thinking that because my sister, she just had a baby. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, they have so many new things. This is amazing. I would have loved this back in the day. But I have a 14-year-old and an 11-year-old. So I'm so far removed from that. So I, I've been there. I can talk to you, but that's not where I'm going to relate to. I cannot remember um, if you were to ask me questions about teething or um, diapers or how long it took for things. I have to dig back in the gray matter, right? But if you want to talk about sassy kids who um, are little entitled and um, don't want to do much but are so loving on most days still, I can talk about that all day. So you want to connect with the people that connect with you, right? You want to go and talk to the booths, to the people that you can connect to, that you can relate to, because then your combo is going to flow real smooth. It's going to just flow naturally. You're not searching for things to talk about. That connection is a natural connection. Those are the things you're looking for. So on your piece of paper, take a few minutes, write all those things down that describe you, okay? So pause this right now, and I want you to write that all down, okay? Okay, coming back from pause, I hope you have a good list. This is gonna be something I want you to keep with you. You wanna use this, you wanna utilize this because at some point there might be something new you get into, there might be something you move off of, but at least you have a good idea. When you are searching for people in um, Instagram, I'm going to go off of Instagram because that's where I, that's my jam, but I will touch upon Facebook. You want to look upon, um, so like I'm a huge, um, I'm a huge Target fan. I love um, fashion. I love um, uh, budgeted fashion. I like to look trendy, but I will also wait for things to go on sale. I will look for, there's a bunch of bloggers that are like um, fashion bloggers that are like Target people, Old Navy people, um, Walmart people. They're going to show you when things go on sale. They're going to show you dupl dupes. So like if, if uh, Marc Jacobs has this fancy new bag, but I don't know, someone has a dupe that's really close to it and it looks super cute. I don't necessarily need the Marc Jacobs label, although super fun. I don't want to spend that kind of money. So those kind of bloggers I relate to, I like, I like to look at. And so I will follow them and I will look at, at what they've got going on. Those are what I call inspo accounts. So on your Instagram, you're going to create a collection 
and I will post underneath this video um, a video that Micah Folsom put together about collections, which I think is super, super solid. Um, you don't have to take the time for that, but I suggest that you do because it is really spot on and you're going to want to understand how a collection works. I have a collection called Inspo Accounts. They are um, sarcastic moms, hot mess moms is one of them. Um, sarcasm moms is another one. Um, but I also, um, I love Jesus. I'm a Jesus lover. Um, I love Bible journaling and things like that. I have those people in there. I love my bloggers, my fashion bloggers. Those are in there too. I found a couple of um, women in their 40s who are sharing like anti-aging makeup tips. I have those in there too. When I can expand, um, that is, um, so I follow this tracker here. Um, so when I expand my network, I'm going to go on one of those inspo accounts and I'm going to go to her latest post. Okay. And under her latest post, you're going to have a bunch of commenters, commenters. I'm going to go to those commenters and I'm going to connect with them. Um, I always, what I do, and there's lots of ways you can do this. Micah Folsom has an expanding connecting video that's super solid. I can't remember if it's in the collections video or not. Erin may do it differently from Amanda, who may do it differently from Shauna, who may do it differently from me. But what I do is I go to those latest pictures and I go to those commenters because she may have 20,000 followers, but they're not all active on Instagram. But the people who are commenting on her latest post, they are, they're active. So I will go into them. I will set a timer for 10 minutes and I will go and, and follow all of those people. I will follow all of those people. And what I do is I look at their picture. I look, oh, she's cute. She could be my friend, follow. Oh, she's cute. She could be my friend, follow. And my goal is to get anywhere from 50 to 100 people that I've either requested or started following within the 10 minutes. That is my goal. I started slow in the beginning and in the beginning I, I think I spent too much and thought about it too much but that is my goal. My goal is to make as many friends out there as I can. Like, I just want the friends. Like, I want to connect with you. I want to be your friend. If you look fun, if you look like you could be my friend, I will follow you. Now, later, if I find like, oh, yeah, you're not my crew at all. You're not a booth I would go to. Then I unfollow them later. And that's something we could talk about another day. But my goal is to expand and find new friends out there. Okay? That is probably... um probably one of the things that I, I was, um, I had a lot of barriers that came in my direction. When you, when they follow you back or you, after you follow through with them, then I take 10 minutes and I'll go back through those people. And the way I do it is I go back under my Instagram, under my followers, no, my following, and I'll go least, most recent, I think it's latest, Latest is the word. And all the ones that I follow at the latest are up there. And I'll go through them one by one. And I'll do that for 10 minutes. And I'll try to go through as many people as I can. Now, not all of them have requested or will have accepted that request right away. But I do this every day, a couple times a day, just so I can connect with them. And when I connect with them, I go in their feed. I look at their feed. If they don't look like my jam, I unfollow them. If they look like my jam and they look like I can connect with them, they look like we've got a lot in common, which we should because we had that blogger or that account in common, I like um, three of the pictures and I comment on one of them and I move along. And then what I do is before I move along, I will flag them. There's a little flag button at the bottom of their picture and I'll put them in a collection for the month or something, which again, I'm going to refer you to Michael Folsom's collection video. That's amazing. Okay. That's expanding pockets of time. It can be very fast. You can expand in 10 minutes. Easy. Done. Bam. Moving on. Okay. Collection. I'm sorry. Connections and connecting is probably my most favorite part because all you're doing is love bombing. You're dropping awesomeness onto other people's life. Okay. And I do mine a little bit differently. I expand a lot throughout the day in a lot of different ways. Okay. It's easier for me to think about it in 10 minute increments here 
10 minute increments there and 10 minute increments there. Okay. And the way I do that is I will take 10 minutes, throw a timer on because then when the timer's done, I'm done. But I hit upon different areas of my Instagram. So I'll do 10 minutes in my stories. I'll scroll through stories. I don't follow the coaches up there. If I run into a coach that I follow, like Amanda or Shauna or Aaron, I scroll past their stories. I love to see them. I want to know what's going on in their life, but I won't allow myself to look at their stories until my power hour is done. So I scroll past them and I just go through stories, go through stories. And a lot of times through stories, I'll scroll for a while and then I'll stop it and then I'll be like, okay, I'm going to start here because those are the people that you are not connecting with enough. If you notice the people's stories who you're watching the most are all in the beginning. And they should all be people that you're, you know, trying to connect with, that you're trying to engage with. Um, it shouldn't be me, Amanda, Aaron, Shauna. Like, it should be your people, not other coaches. Because then that means you're spending too much time on us. And two things can happen. One, we're already coaches, so that's not going to do you any good, right? It is great to see ideas. But a lot of times from ideas comes comparison and comparison is the thief of joy. It makes you second guess what you're putting up there. It makes you second guess what you're doing and you don't want that. You want to believe in who you are and share your story and your life as it is. You don't want my life. You don't want Aaron's life. You don't want Shauna's or Amanda's life because you have yours and you want to share yours and your people want to see your life, not ours. Okay. That's why you're able to connect with them because you have those pieces that they like. So you want to make sure that they are they are your people. Connect them. Watch their stories. Comment on them. And a lot of times, use questions. Comment as questions. That's my favorite. Oh my gosh, that dress is so cute. Where did you get it? Oh my goodness, I've been trying to get back into the headband gig. Where are you finding your headbands at? That um, vacation looks amazing. Where Where did you go? How is that hotel? I've always wanted to stay there. Are you in? Question mark. You know... Those are the types of things. And if you can't think of a question, you can always comment, oh my gosh, her smile is so adorable. I love to see that. Post more of that. Oh my gosh, what is the name of your dog? Oh, I is that a golden doodle? I have a golden doodle too. That's one of my groups. Always comment on something. You want something, if they can respond back, it's even better. Okay, so that's one 10 minute block. I go through my stories. Second 10 minute block, I go through my feed. Um, same type of thing, um, like them, comment on them, like them, comment on them. If it's somebody that comes up in your feed and you're like, oh my gosh, what's happening here? I don't even, I don't even understand like, or I don't like this at all. I don't like this, this um, negative attitude. I don't like anything. Unfollow. Bless and release and unfollow. Move on. Okay. So stories, feed. I also go through my story watchers. So I'll go to my very first story that I have still posted. And that's usually where you're going to find your most story watchers. And I'll go through my story watchers. And if their circle is colored um, saying that they have a story, I watch their stories. So I'm loving back on the people who are loving mine. So I'm fueling that as well. So those are three, um, three different types of connections. My last connection is to go through my last post from yesterday and watch those people. And my likers... I watch their stories or I connect with them. If I know like they're either brand new, they just start following me, or maybe I see that they have a story up, or I know that um, I'm wanting to make a follow-up with them because I think that they would love my group and they could benefit from it, I'm gonna connect with them. Just being able to stay in their feed and be relevant so they can see me, they know who we are, and they I can connect with them. And you're just loving on them. You're loving on them where they're at, their kids, their family, you know, if they're having a hard time, you're sending them positive vibes. You're being the light for them. You are shining bright for them. You are the positivity they need in their life. Or sometimes like I will agree with them. I'm like, girl, seriously, for real, that's insane. I feel the exact same way. People love that. Or like, oh my gosh, girl, read this book. This helped so much. Like sometimes I'll do that. Not as like, Oh, you got to read this. It's like, oh, no, I've been there. When you can relate to them, people love that. Okay. Comment, questions, comments and questions, comments, compliments and questions, CCQ, comments, compliments, questions. Those are always the best way when you are connecting. Connecting is not hard. It's literally being social on social media, sending the light, being the light, 
allowing them to see some love and some positivity from you. All, it's all you're doing. And you're doing it to as many people as you can in the day. And the more people you connect with every day, the bigger of an impact you're going to make. Okay? This video ended up being a little bit longer than what I wanted. Um, I hope that this helps. Feel free to message me or comment below with any questions. I'm happy to help you guys. Um, this is kind of a, um, a, it's like an onion where you just keep peeling and keep peeling and keep peeling. And there's so many pieces to it. There's no right or wrong way, but there are some things that can help you. Do not get overwhelmed. I promise you, any connections you make are good connections. Just make sure that you do them. Okay. All right. I hope you guys have a great night. Have a good one. Bye.